Risk stratification and genomic technologies offer the promise of early detection of disease, but one of the challenges is how early detection can be used where symptoms are unspecific and common. How can health professionals decide which patients should have urgent access to diagnostic tests and which patients can be safely reassured? So the DELTA project brought together academics and patient groups to explore this challenge for esophageal cancer in Barrett's esophagus, a precursor to cancer characterised by early changes in the lining of the esophagus, where typical symptoms include heartburn and indigestion. And in the DELTA project, we explored three complementary technologies, a novel risk prediction algorithm, which included as a risk factor prescriptions for medicines to treat chronic indigestion, to identify from GP records those at highest risk of developing esophageal cancer. A safe and effective sampling device, a sponge on a string, cytosponge, which could be administered in a nurse-led clinic, taking referrals both from GPs and from worried patients. And finally, new methods of digital analysis, combining cellular stains with digital pathology methods, using AI and machine learning to identify abnormal cells. So the PhD Foundation collaborated with researchers in each of these three areas to explore the wider ethical, legal and regulatory implications of introducing a patient pathway incorporating these three technologies at scale. And our research highlighted the need for transparency and to avoid bias to build trustworthiness when developing and using risk prediction algorithms and digital pathology. We also developed a position statement to engage more directly with regulators, policymakers, and patients, calling for clearer and more consistent evidence standards. These would help to build greater trustworthiness and transparency, but also help to ensure equitable access to these novel technologies once they're implemented. Clinicians currently remain liable for decisions made by machine learning or AI, but our research also highlighted the need to resolve who is liable when decisions are made by AI systems without that clinical oversight.